so, so that just to, just to say that, like uh, the, 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 that was just like Daniel. Yes, like, so I'm down on my you know you kind of have to like do the I'm is like before it's a pickup note like I'm down on my knees and pray I'm down oh, and then just, just like Daniel in the lion's den just like Daniel in the lion's den just like okay. yeah. are you gonna be able to sing along or are you yeah yeah I'll sing along yeah yeah but I mean if it's a yeah. But that's good to know. Yeah. So the, so like, okay, uh, the downbeat is Daniel, and the downbeat is down. Yeah. That could be down because you have a chorus or something. Yeah. 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 I mean, we could like break it up with like a little like what do you call it? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Sorry, starting a little bit late, but uh, hopefully we can get everyone out on time. Well, I'm really glad that you can be here for this Mardi Gras musical chapel experience. It is Mardi Gras, or I'm an Episcopalian, it's a Shrove Tuesday, right? We usually make pancakes or something like that. Um, but uh, Mardi Gras is a lot more fun than Shrove Tuesdays. We'll call it Mardi Gras. Uh, also, Mardi, Blue, Gras, and then an extra S at the end. So we're a little, we're a little bluegrass group. Uh, we, used to meet weekly um, out here in the courtyard when it was nice and indoors. We haven't met for a long time, for two years about, um, so it might look a little rusty and sound a little rusty, but that's okay. Uh, but if anyone plays an instrument, or if you know someone who wants to play an instrument, or would like to join us, uh, even just to sing, um, we're going to start getting together uh, when the weather gets nicer um, out here in the, in the quad or in the, in the, in the courtyard every once in a while. So um, I'll let you know about that, but also just have folks get in contact with me. Uh, I'm Brendan Bree, I teach Old Testament here, um, and, uh, and, and I'll, let, I'll move you in on the email loop. Uh, so we meet to play American traditional music, which comes from a number of different genres. Some people call old time, uh, some blues, fiddle tunes, spirituals, bluegrass, shake notes, singing country western stuff, and more. Um, we share some of our favorite songs with each other, and we play them together, and we'll share some of our favorite ones with you in our hymn sing chapel service. Uh, so American music combines syncopated rhythms, the pentatonic scale, blue notes, the banjo, all of which were developed by African musicians. The banjo invented by uh, Africans who uh, had been brought to the Caribbean uh, and uh, was reinvented from memories of African instruments, but invented in a new way, uh, which really created American music and the beats that we all dance to today. Um, come from the banjo and that little tiny weird fifth string. Those were combined with Native American dance and rhythmic and melodic traditions, which are alive throughout American music today. Also combined with European fiddle tunes and the modern guitar, which was developed really in Spain and first popularized in Mexican folk music. These traditions combined into the American art forms of blues, jazz, country western music, and much of the early music of North America was devoted to honoring the variegated faith of the peoples who wrote and performed these tunes. We find that in the wellspring of pain and hope and joy, songs to express our own faith journey are ever present. Like the Psalms, we'll begin singing a stewed gumbo of musical genres, moods, and flavors. As Ephesians 5, 18 through 20 exhorts us, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God, the Father, for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, join along as you can in our responsive reading of Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in God's sanctuary. Praise, Praise God, God in, in the, the mighty heavens. Praise God for God's mighty deeds. Praise, Praise God, God according, according to God's, God's excellent, excellent greatness. Praise God with trumpet sound. Praise, Praise God, God with, with mandolin, mandolin and, and guitar. guitar. Praise God with bass beat and dance. Praise, Praise God, God with banjo and, banjo and voice. Praise God with sounding cymbals. Praise, Praise God, God with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, so the first song that I'm going to lead you in, we don't have uh, words yet, but this is great. This is perfect. There's an old uh, uh, spiritual song. Uh, the first known recording of it was from Lightning Hopkins, uh, a Texas-based blues musician, but it's much older than him. It's called Jesus, Won't You Come By Here. The song's in two parts. It'll repeat the same melody over and over again. The first task is going to be Jesus, Won't You Come By Here, Jesus, Won't You Come By Here, Jesus, Won't You Come By Here. 
And then every single time, there'll be a different kind of first three lines. It'll be the same thing three times. And then the second three lines will be the same every single time. And that's now is the needed time. Now is the needed time. Now is the needed time. So we're asking Jesus to come by here at the beginning of our service here. So I'll call out the, ne like the next three lines, but then we'll always return to that chorus, now is the needed time. All right. also know uh, it's got very repetitive lyrics they're beautiful uh, and go over and over again and Martha's gonna lead us in this one this is Martha's favorite song oh apparently I'm gonna lead you on this one <laughs> some of you like me might have grown up singing this song others of you might be just learning it this is called down by the riverside uh, the version that we're singing uses the words uh, that, according to Dr. Breed, are the oldest version of the lyrics, which says, da right. gonna lay down my heavy load. Yes, but if you sing burden, that's But if you too. say burden, that's apparently okay, too. Great thing about these songs, you say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Do we have lyrics yet? No? We won't, yeah. We won't. We're going to be extempering. Okay. So the next one. Led by the spirit. Great. The next song is uh, a great old tune. Uh, it was uh, uh, written by Ada Habershorn in 1907 as a hymn. It was rewritten by the Carter family, which are the lyrics everyone knows in 1927 or something. Um, but uh, we're going to do the old hymn version. So if you Google the lyrics to the hymn, <laughs> Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And the first uh, line is, There are loved ones in the glory. If you don't want to you know, Google that, just Will the Circle Be Unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by, there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky, right? The one song by the Carter family is about someone's mother who's passed away. This one's about, like, church kind of passing on over time. A little different. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this one. Yeah, so, uh, ready the G? Yeah. Yeah, song is also a familiar one to many of you, I'm sure, uh, written by actually a resident of Georgia. Um, i got the little story uh, here. Uh, so it's been written by, in 1887 by Anthony Showalter, a church musician in Dalton, Georgia. 
he said that he received letters from two of his former pupils saying that their wives had died. Um, he basically got them at the same time. And he was writing letters of consolation to both of these people. He was inspired by the phrase in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 27, the eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. So please join us in singing this Georgia hymn to help us remember God's constant presence and support. Leaning on the everlasting arms. You can Google this one. And the hymn, you know, the, the lyrics are always the same for this one. Yeah. <laughs> No one has lyrics. <laughs> no one does this one. Um, Not even good. Rick, let's do this one. Let's try and hold it. Not even good. a very old song. I mean, the farthest back I could find it is like early 1900s called Cry and Holy. Thank you. 
Herzog, by the way, who's joining us. Uh, this is Patrick Jackson, who's joining us. Uh, they're just here because they're friends and want to play music. So, uh, a little, a little, thank you for being here. Uh, all right. Um, this next one um, is. Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry. We're gonna double banjo this one. Um, this is a this is a, a very old very old song um, made famous during the civil rights struggle of the 1960s but it goes back to the late 1800s it's called gospel plow it's played a lot of different ways sung a lot of different ways uh, but the part that you can join in on is hold on hold on keep your hand on the plow and hold right on um, so. to share with you today, and then we'll, we'll end in prayer. Um, all right, good. Uh, this one is an old song. It's um, it's one that's been played since the late 1800s in many different guises. Um, it, it, uh, it was rewritten by Albert Brumley, who holds the copyright to it, kind of unfortunately, in the 1930s, but it's based on an older song called The Prisoner Song. But you know it is I'll Fly Away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to jump the gun, sorry. <laughs>
close us in prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for the rich and wonderful world of physical pleasure and nourishment that you have given us to enjoy. We thank you for the pleasures of sight and smell and taste and touch and song and sound. We thank you for the bounty of our tables and the loved ones who feast and laugh with us. This is a true blessing from you, as observed in Ecclesiastes 8.15. So I commend the enjoyment of life because nothing is better for a person under the sun than to eat and drink and be glad. Then joy will accompany them in their work all the days of the life that God has given them under the sun. Help us to feast and to fast with joy and passion. We celebrate you in our feasting day, and we celebrate you in our fasting tomorrow. May each be used by you to our growth and benefit. In the name of your son Jesus, who is rich and filling with the bread of life, we pray. Amen.